We are at Black Hills Glass Blowers in Keystone with Pete, one of the owners here. Now, Pete, how does one get into the industry of glass blowing? Well, back when I started, you needed to find someone that knew what they were doing and apprentice under them. There were no schools for lamp working, which is where I started making the figurines. There were some schools throughout the country where we actually did take a class some 30 years ago to learn how to traditionally glass blow. Well, the guys that taught me originally were actually a bunch of carnies. That's what I learned in the beginning. So when I left the roost, so as to speak, first thing we did was go out and buy a van and a trailer and hit the road, because that's kind of what I learned. And as time went on, the vans got better, the trailer got better, and we did about 10 years of that. Some people may remember us from the Rushmore Mall at Christmas. We did that for many years. We did the State Fair in Huron for many years, and Sioux Falls Fair, Casper, Wyoming. So we've been around a long time doing that, and then eventually we built the studio about 31 years ago, and we just work and sell here on location. We do two kinds of work, lamp working and traditional glass blowing. Well, indeed, we are off-handing our traditional glass blowing, and then we are lamp working, which makes us really kind of an unusual studio because at this point in time, or even early on, you usually do one or you do the other. You don't do both due to the fact that it's not the same glass, so it's not worked in the same manner. So it requires two different skill sets. Glass is actually quite a unique product, you know, because it's also a good reflector of light. So the faster the light, the faster the chip, the faster the chip, the faster your computer or your fiber optics. So there are people all over this world working on that right now as we speak. So for a product that's over 2,000 years old, it's rather unique that it's still relevant today. Right. Well, the best part is actually playing with the glass. I enjoy glass blowing. The business parts, the maintenance, the work like that, you know, lawn care, <laughs> painting the building and cleaning and, you know, that's not so fun. But you have to do that to maintain the glass blowing business and the glass blowing studio. Well, it's not for everybody. You have to like to get hot. So we're used to the heat and uh, some people can't tolerate the heat. 24 hours a day, 2,000 degrees. We get used to it. We progress into the season and, and we're used to the heat. Timing is everything. Yeah. Keeping things flowing smoothly is really fundamentally key. If something goes wrong halfway through, it's like, okay, that's, you know, you try to see if we can overcome that little problem because Okay, you can reheat that glass and reheat it, but for instance, if you've stretched it out, like you would stretch that one vase out, yeah. well, you can't just keep reheating that. It's not gonna work. You know, there's lots of glass blowers in the world. A lot of them work privately. They do not like to be disrupted and distracted in the public like we're doing. But because we started doing the fairs and malls when we were young, we were pretty much used to having people looking over our shoulder. So, you know, if you make a mistake, oh well, oops, it fell on the floor, people get a bang out of that too. I have a website to find us. I do okay. not sell online. Sure. So I just sell in the store here. And we can mail things if you know what you want, but I don't have an online presence for selling. In the tourist season, it's 9 to 5, Monday through Saturday, 11 to 5, Sunday. So we're open daily. In the rest of the year, we work making product, but we're just here part time. We take a break too. <laughs> we're here every day in the summer. So yeah, if you wanna come later in the season, just call ahead to make sure we're around. I thought I was gonna retire a couple of years ago. <laughs> And here you are, you just can't give it up. You know, we just come and work, and uh, yes, we're older, we move a little slower, but we do what we can do. Perfect. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for coming up.